slow poker. I have a career and a family, but also play poker, which doesn't leave me much time, so let's get to it. I've got eights, raised to 15, hijack calls, and cutoff raises to 80. Normally I'd call, but it's my first hand, and I'm still getting a feel for everyone's ranges, so I make a tight fold. <laughs> After hijack calls, cutoff overshares. I don't got nothing yet. <laughs> which leads me to some regret, and that regret is deepened, as the flop would have given me a toll free number. They go check check, while I go fuck fuck. But I would have fallen behind on this turn given hijack checks, cutoff bets 85, and hijack calls. Now, if I want to feel better, this river needs to be a brick, but for infinite pain, I know what's coming. Yup. The river goes check, check. And pardon me, gentlemen, but I gotta make a phone call. Have you been a bad boy? Are you throbbing with regret? Is the pain so deep knowing you'd have flopped a set and rivered a boat? Then call me day or night and I'll let you moan about your premature fold. Ooh, my body aches when you talk about two cards that aren't even in your hand anymore. You are so good at mucking. I've got hooks. After low jack limps, I raise to 25 and both small blind and limper call. As the dealer deals this flop, he says, you're welcome. Both players check, and this is one of those cases where slow playing is fine. Any higher pocket pair would have pre bet pre, so now it's just a matter of baiting these hooks and catching a fish. After this turn, we got a live one, as Low Jack takes the bait and bets 50, and I smooth call. On this river, Low Jack takes another nibble. Hey, if I keep winning with boats, who knows how far I'll go? Do you even bluff? You tell me. Is it a bluff when I raise over a limper with threes and fire every street? Is it a bluff when I bet flop and river with ace high? Is it a bluff when I bet turn and river and fail to fold out an underpair? Is it a bluff when I bet flop with bottom pair, barrel when I turn equity, and switch to value on the river? Is it a bluff when I raise pre with the best hand in poker and bet two streets with six high just to honor the great Skylar Hawker? Uh. So there you have it. I don't bluff. And now, the new slow poker miniseries. You're doing that with that? I've got kings, raised to 15, and get called by the button and small blind. On a suboptimal flop, we all check. I turn the nut flush draw, and after small blind checks, I bet 25, button folds, and small blind calls. Hard to put them on a hand here. Some random ace? Am I ahead or behind? Do I need a flush? On this river, small blind checks again, and I should bet, but I check back. And wow, what a cooler. <laughs> Can you at least record the facial reaction? I mean, that's a big part of the thing. I've got king queen, raised to 20 over a limp, and get called by the button and small blind. On a king high flop, small blind checks, I bet 30, and both players call. I turn the Clooney wall cube, small blind checks, I bet 55, and small blind calls again. And now that I'm on a riverboat, and small blind checks one more time, I bet 200. Small blind tanks, so I can only assume he's preparing for a shove and chop, but he calls with a nine. You're gonna need a bigger boat. I've got kings, raise over a limp to 20, and get called by the button, small blind, and limper. After this flop and two checks, I bet 45, and button raises to 100. This is bad boat Harry, so while normally a raise here might concern me, the bet size and player are equally sus, so I call. On this blank turn, I check, Harry bets 175, and I call again. This river goes check, check, and well... That's not good enough! My camera's on the fritz, but I've got ace 10 of spades, raise over a limp to 15, and get called by the cutoff, small blind, and limper. After a 10 high flop and two checks, I bet 30, cutoff calls, small blind check raises to 125, and limper check shoves. Well, it couldn't be more obvious what those two have. Check raiser flopped a set, and preflop limper is gambling with some bad club draw, so it's pretty clear I'm way behind. Mm. And while my assumptions were 100% right, and I did make the correct fold, sometimes the runout is a cruel, sadistic mistress. Did you make a disciplined fold with 1% equity and still would have won? Oh, that's so tilting, albeit results oriented. I've got deuces, raised to 15, and get three callers. It's pretty hard to win with ducks four ways out of position, so I guess I'm on the hunt. I lead for 25, and only button calls. The turn's a blank, unless he's got king 7. So I fire 60, and he quickly calls. Surely he's on a flush draw. So dealer, spade me. No, not a scare card. It's probably wishful thinking, but maybe button's got ace x of spades and might still call 150? Yeah, maybe? Ah, uh, game over. Well, that's a doggone shame. Yeah, okay, laugh it up. You're the one who eats his own shit. 
And now, back by popular demand. Okay, okay. I've got Ace-King. And after a UTG limp, Hijack makes it 25, and I make it 75, and then he makes it 250. And then I listen to my gut. Feels like he's forbidden light. Take it down. Okay, gut, if you say so. I'm all in. Thanks, gut. That's what I do. I've got Ace King. Hijack raises to 25. I three bet to 75, and he calls. On this flop, Hijack checks, and I bet 80, targeting a hand like Ace Queen, and he calls. On a nothing burger turn, he checks, and I bet way too much in 250, but he calls anyway. When I river some insurance, he leads out for 300. I still put him on Ace Queen, but now I'm second guessing. There's no way he was slow playing fours or sevens, right? No, he'd have raised on the turn. He's setting his own price. We put him on Ace Queen. It's still Ace Queen. Ship it. And the red chip poker people agree with my gut that this is a clear cut shove almost always. But despite all of that, I still play it safe. Hijack swears up and down he wouldn't have called a raise, but I can't help but kick myself for a missed value tunity. Never ignore me again, and stop trying to make value tunity happen. It's not going to happen. I've got Ace King, and facing a limp, a low jack raised to 15, and a cutoff call, I raise to 75, and small blind bumps it to 175. Small blind is a loose aggressive type who can absolutely raise here with a wide range. So after it folds around to me, I call. On this flop, small blind bets 180. In the past, I'd just give up here. But given how often I'm told that Ace King should peel in a spot like this, and given Ace King could actually be ahead against this type of player, I call. This turn is good news, bad news, as now I've got top top, but small blind rips. And he could still have a draw like Ace Queen of Diamonds, or an underpair, or Ace King for a chop, or just a stone bluff. All that said, my gut is pretty insistent. By the book it's a call, but I got a twitch in my gut knee that says rockets. I say fold. But I think I'm still supposed to sigh and flick it in. Uh, you got pocket aces, you're good. Small blind agrees that I had to call, especially against a player like him, as he could easily shove there well behind. And sure, maybe I should have called, but it still hurts. I said it was rockets. You best make it up to me. Okay, that's a start. I've got Ace Jack Dawson, raised a 30 over a straddle, and get called by the hijack and small blind on a flop worth more than two hope diamonds. Small blind donks for 20. So far on this trip, I've seen players donk lead with a set, which frankly is weird, but here it could be an even better hand that needs protection, like a straight. But of course I call, and so does the hijack. When this turn pairs the board, and small blind leads again, this time for 65, I'm concerned, but also confused. The nuts have now changed. If he did lead flop with a hand like 8-6, now he's behind boats. And if I was heads up, I'd probably call, but what about the hijack? Of course, if the hijack had flopped a set or two pair, wouldn't he have raised? If I call this turn, and assuming hijack doesn't raise, and if I luck out with a heart on the river against two players, would that flush be ahead? Oh, and by the way, I still only have ace high, so as much as it pains me, my hearts will not go on. On this river, small blind leads again for 120, and hijack raises to 375. Well, that confirms my earlier theory, but Hijack's line doesn't make much sense. Unless... Wait a second, pull over. I see what's happening here. Since we all think small blind flopped a joint, and since the nuts changed on the turn and again on the river, Hijack can just bluff with abandon. In fact, maybe Hijack is pretending to have the exact hand that I already folded. And sure enough... I always win, Jack. One way or another. Hijack Bluffer admits he was indeed repping my hearts. I tell Hijack that identity theft is serious, and he should be ashamed of himself. Real slick cowrows, they put it in my pocket. Shut up. It isn't even your pocket, is it, son? Property of Slow poker. That was reported stolen today. Hey, well played, Hijack. And I think that's my cue to go home and head straight to bed. And nothing else. Did you muck the flush draw and let Hijack scoop with King High? Press or say 46. 46. Who are you talking to? Nobody. The doctor. I'm dying. And that'll do it for episode 15 of Slow Poker. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. And remember, if you think I'm bluffing, always look for tells. Ship it. That's right. Come to Papa. Until next time, this has been Slow Poker. And thank you! Slow Uploads Coming soon from Slow Poker I've got aces 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 Who are you talking to?